we'll get you. All right, now, sir, what is your name? Sergeant Gregory. Sergeant Gregory, and what uh, what outfit are you with? Ninth Cavalry, Coast Stanton, New Mexico. Of what? Mexico? Coast Stanton, New Mexico. That's my great uncle. I'll break his part in living history. Oh. He was stationed in Coast Stanton, New Mexico in 1870s. He fought the Victoria Uprising and everything, so I'll finish that. Very good. We have documents and papers and everything like that. Very good. Good. What you got? What are you sporting there? Those are pretty good sized bullets you got there, bud. The 4570s. The 4570s right here. In my belt of 45. Uh, the weapon I have here is a 1875 coat. Excuse me. 1875 coat, the 18th, the 9th, the 10th, and the 7th caliber. Uh, when the black troopers came out of the Civil War, we had a 44 caliber coat, black powder, like some of the here on over there. He carried uh, a weapon like that, and also a dagger like that from the Civil War, into the Indian War. Then after he got into the Indian War, the government issued this here. So he took this in and just threw it away, because a man's rib casing is pretty tough. This has got a quarter inch shank back hit and a break. That he bought from the Civil War as a boy now. It's a quarter inch thick, solid steel straight through it. It's not very good. So that replaced what you have there. Is that what you said? The yeah. governor issued those. It is an issue of the old this Civil War. But the black just kept the Civil War into the Indian War. Very good. I see you have some medals over there too. Is that uh, are those actually awarded medals or? Yes, now, this medal right here is the Medal of Honor. Uh, we still the highest decorated unit in the United States Army. We have 50 some odd Medal of Honor we've ever seen. During the uh, Civil War, one some medal, our Navy had seven. Of them. In the Army, they got uh, I think it was 17. 17. Then in the Indian War, they got 20. Wow. But then during World War II, our government said, I don't care what a black man does, in World War II, you would not give him the Medal of Honor. Yeah, I've read about that. If any famous of the Medal of Honor, there was numbers of Medal of Honor they should have received during World War II, but just not getting them out without even a dead mess. But uh, in U.S. news here a few months ago, I was able to just receive jail, I guess. But thanks to President Clinton, we made a lot of these cases up. They said a lot of these men should have had the Medal of Honor. And like this gentleman back here, Henry Old Flipper, he got this honorable discharge back in 1870 because he fell in love with the base commander's daughter. Uh oh. The base daughter died. <laughs> so his dad had this honorable discharge, so he stole some money. And he took all of his life trying to prove his innocence. He never did. But then Clinton got a hold of this case, opened it back up, so he got discharged on President Reason, giving his discharge. He has, he has any family still alive, his niece is in, in Arizona, I talked to her the other day, and the family, he needs a commission to have a mannequin, a latex mannequin made up with the second light here, and have his uniform made up next year, he can stand right there. All right. So if, if he was alive, he would be standing beside the mannequin, he would look too identical, he couldn't tell the party. Very good. His, his corners look something like this. Now, what's this hat over here that you have in the uh, in the box? Is that a dress hat or or what? This here is our uh, our dress over here. It's still right here. It's for dress. Oh, I see. That's for parade. Parade ground or. Very good. And are those authentic binoculars there? Right. Or? They're, they're original here. The original here is the original of the stuff. Uh, this is me right here. Cool. Pictures are copies of real photographs. This is from uh, the Nafas here. These here, back here, are severe instruments, which the black troopers, some of the black troopers. Oh, is that a compass? Yeah, a compass and severe. Is that a military issue compass? Uh, yes, these, well, actually, back then, then, they bought a lot of stuff in England and, and, and things like everything. Oh, okay. But uh, they, uh, uh, they use this for severe instruments. Wow, I'm impressed. Ninth and, and tenth kill. Right here, you probably seen him. This is Mr. Madison. Uh, he's the real Buffalo soldier in World War II. He's a president. I'm um, 72. Mr. Madison about 90. But he's still. He's how much you say? Uh, uh, close to 90. Oh, he's 90. Okay. Very, very close to. Him. And he uh, he uh, he served in World War II, and uh, he uh, he's the president 
of the Postal Service on a Fort Lever. You know, I see some, uh, I think it's in the Rose Bowl parade, right, you know. Right, yeah. they, isn't, it, isn't that Buffalo Riders that ride in it? I think I've seen them. No, or a, or they'd, be on, they'd be on the uh, floats like that. No, no, these guys are actually on horses. They, they call them... Uh, well, now, it, it might have been, they did one, Mr. Mass did one year. Yeah. One year. That may be the year I saw it. I don't know. I don't see it every year. All right. Well, thank you for the internet. You can see this on gracetime.com. It's on the internet. There's, it's a channel that's got lots of movies on it. Okay. And it's so. And I have to ask you, it's all right to put this oh, on yeah, the internet and and. Most of my life is Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.